I'm I'm rooting for you and I'm rooting for the best version of yourself. I know you got it. I know you I'm not gonna wait. It's joy deep down inside me. I'm not gonna shake. Been stressed for Hey Voltaire family, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be back with you guys. Um I kind of wrote down the topic that I wanted to talk about because I wanted to make sure that I go straight, straight forward. And I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know how you guys feeling the um, litter of light so far because I really want to know um, if all of the word of light that I did so far, if it made a big impact on you. And for each word of light, I want you guys to tell me um, what point and what things did um, did you feel like that touched you that make a big impact on you and if you are on this healing journey um, how is it going for you or your partner or anyone else so share this video to whoever you feel like might need it share my word of light Please guys don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and before I begin I want to I want to say guys um like I've told you guys in a couple videos back that this year um will be my busiest year ever but I'll do everything on my power to make sure that I record for you guys and it's been that kind of crazy busy week couple of weeks so as you guys may see I haven't like vlogged much but i do have some video plan i do have some challenges some challenge um plan i just gotta make sure that um me and my husband rearrange for those type of videos that we can deliver for you guys okay okay guys i want you guys to quickly bow your head and i'm gonna tell you guys what the topic is let's go our dear heavenly father i pray that father may we invite the holy spirit to transform the atmosphere right now father god i pray that lord everything that i say may not comes from my mouth may not comes from me but may comes from our savior our our father our abba i just want to say thank you lord for the those that you're about to touch from these word of life father as i'm planting these seed i pray that these seeds grow and becomes better father I pray that whoever in, in their healing journey, I pray that may you touch their life. May you touch those that are in their life that need healing, that need to find peace, and that needs to be the best version of themselves again, Lord. I am so grateful once again to come back and to talk, to encourage, to lift um, my subscribers, my families up, Lord God. And I pray that I made it feel the love in the in, in everything else that I have in my heart for them, Father. And I say all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As I was thinking about what to talk about, guys, and um, what comes to mind is I was like, Lord, what do you think I should talk about um, right now? And what comes to mind was, um, why don't you finish the topic about healing, about um, mental health in between just to close out this chapter? from this word of light and i was like that's very 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 important so i wrote down how soon as as soon as i had it in my mind i could feel like the holy spirit talking to me i was like let me just write it down and the word of light is um after healing how um after healing after healing journey and understand how life works and i was like yes that's just a perfect topic um as you guys may know after the healing journey um some of you guys might be figuring out life might be figuring out how to do things differently i just want to tell you guys that it's okay to figure things out it's okay to um trying to do the best that you can to make things work it's not always going to be easy that's for sure for sure for sure for sure it's not going to be a e it's not going to be an easy journey but i know that you guys got it and i want to you know give yourself grace if you ever feel like um um you're a little bit confused you feel like this healing journey is is make is putting you into this confusing stage i just want to let you know that um it's not um and 
just take it easy on yourself um and and you know understood how life worked i think that's like the best part of this to close out this um healing journey um word of life i want to tell you that you truly have to understand how life works and everything's around it although though it, we're not gonna figure it out everything but for sure you have to understand how life works and you really 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 have to be thankful for being alive because there is a lot of things that you are doing for yourself that people that other people cannot do it for themselves like you are you wake up every day do you know how much people that died every day and here you are you are up you are breathing and not a lot of people get that chance you really have to be grateful for that and not only that too guys you have to um you just have to look you just have to look at life life very differently because um there's a lot going on in the world and god has been giving us so much grace on everything that um we only focus on the bad stuff rather than good stuff guys um life in general is not going to be easy there's always it's always gonna be up and down we're gonna have good things happen and we're gonna have bad things happen and when 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 the bad things happen you cannot say oh god don't love me oh i'm i'm the unluckiest person in the world oh why life always treated me badly no um that's how life works you you're gonna have good you're gonna have bad and you really have to learn from both if you're only focusing on the bad and you don't focus on the good like you just going to go around a circle and if you don't want to go around a circle you just got to take life as it is you have to take every second of the day you have to create memories with your friends with your families as i was first starting the um my my videos i always used to say that we are all about creating memories and connection and love and i think that's truly what life is all about creating memories with the people that you love with the um in in living life without no regrets um and i'm not trying to put uh i'm not trying to throw um relation on you but but you know adding god to that i'm sorry guys hold on hey siri stop the alarm <laughs> sorry my phone was ringing up um like i was saying before you have to enjoy life you have to explore you and i'm not trying to force religion on anybody but you really have to put you have to put god into your life if you guys take a look around and see we are living in the last days you know but to each of its own i'm here to planting a seed it's up to you guys to take my word for it and it's up to you guys to share it with whoever you feel like might need it but guys i want you guys to really 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 take time of your day and think about how you want to um how you truly want like to enjoy your life and i also want you guys to think about how you want your life to be because that's something that's really important and i feel like that's something that people really don't think about because you don't want to wait when you're like um around to 50s 60s not like i'm gonna say there's nothing wrong with that if you are older but you don't want to wait when you're like very very old and that's when you are thinking oh maybe that i should have done that sooner or i should have do this better like you have to do it in your young age to learn and to grow don't wait till you older don't wait till you get old to learn from that okay because either way life going to throw us so many challenges and so many things we really really have to um learn from that has we learning from that creating memories and you know whatever hobby whatever um dreams that you wanted to do go after it because you never know when when like time will stop and boom everything and, and boom like everything is over so you really have to enjoy every second of it and by doing that 
you have to add God in between, okay? Always and over. And for those of, for all my Christian girly, follow your instinct. And, and listen, when the Holy Spirit talking to you, you really have to listen because he's the best companion. He's the, he's our best friend and he would never, ever, ever, ever lie to us, okay? And to conclude the healing journey, I really hope that all of you guys that's watching me find your healing journey and learn from those healing stuff and learn the inner you and heal from it. And I also want you guys to, um, those things that you feel like you cannot heal from it, I want you to um, take a, a, a notebook, um, write down things that you feel like um, you need to work on. Um, and if you feel like it could be little notes like write it down like said okay for my healing journey i want to heal i want to heal um the child version of me i want to heal da da da, da, da. i want to heal da da, da 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 and if you feel like it's certain trauma i want to say i want you to say okay this and that and that and that and this is how i want to heal from it for example let me see if you're a person that used to deal a lot with rejection and by um going through so much rejection it has cr creating a trauma in you and every time somebody said no to you um those word no or those type of rejection make a big impact on you you feel like the person not love you i want you to think i want you to write it down and think about how could you solve this rejection feeling that you're having and if it's like um for example you anxiety you anxious you can uh, you say okay i have anxiety and um whenever i drove down the, the a car or something it, whenever I, I always feel like uh the car going to get crushed um i'm going to get to a car accident and and i and how could i fix it breathe whenever i feel like i'm going to have a panic attack i'm going to be anxious breathe and if you feel if you are a christian you pray pray and breathe and um, if you're a type that used to get abused um, mentally, um, whenever those words that comes into your mind make you say, for example, I, you are nothing, you are ugly, you are fat, you, you don't deserve to be happy, you deserve to be miserable, those words that comes to your mind, instead of saying, I am miserable, you're going to say, um, you know, I am not miserable. Um, I am not fat. My body is just transforming. Is being more mature. Is being to. Um, is changing. If, you know, if you're a woman, obviously, if you have kids, your body never gonna be the same way that it was. Okay, trust me. Trust me, girlfriend. I used to be well forty four. <laughs> but I'm skinny. <laughs> okay, look at me now, struggling to get the same way that I was. And guess what, honey? Deal it, but <laughs> just saying that, okay? So you know, um, take this tip, work on it, you know, and you know, just do whatever that you can. You feel comfortable that will work for you. I want you guys to really do that and see the chance. So I wish you guys a healing. I wish you guys nothing but success for your healing journey. Um. I'm rooting for you and I'm rooting for the best version of yourself. I know you got it. I know you got it, bro. You better rock those things, okay? And for you, sis, I know you got it too. Trust me, the, it's 2024. We are here to win. We are here to slay. We are here to get control of our, of our, um, um, mind, body, and soul. And we are here, listen, to do the best that we can, honey, to slay everything and to shine and to be the light of the world and to grow, okay? This should be the mindset that you have, not only for this year, but for throughout your whole life. And I'm telling you, you will see a major difference. So I hope that the Lord blesses you and I hope that you guys 
love seeing my face and if you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for all of my new um supporters i want to say welcome to the family we are so happy that you are here and who knows i really have to make my husband come to this next word of light and talk to my boys although i talk to y'all but i feel like if i mean and talk to you guys it'll be much better much better, better you know so let's start. Bring the Haitian side out of me real quick. Um. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I put a smile on your face and I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs>